Good job. Good job. Good morning. It's surgery day. I just did chest PT, done my nebs, just all the doctors. I've got my go shirt on. Here, let's, let's do, do this. this. Which, like if you that. missed yesterday's video, on Sunday, Peter went back to the house and he made me this shirt. Let's do this. And he then came back to the hospital and we looked at each other and we were like, should we make t-shirts? So he, took this design and put it on a t-shirt. So it is available on the online store if you guys are interested. Now it's basically just waiting. It's about, it's 9.25 in the morning. My scheduled time in the OR is 10.45. So we figure they might take us down in the next, I don't know, I don't know. It depends on the, obviously the OR schedule and if anything urgent comes up or anything like that. But today we are feeling Ready. Ready. Content. Content. Peaceful. Yeah. Let's do this. We're blasting Rent Collective, like, truth in song form, which helps fill my possibly anxious spaces with confidence and readiness. The passage I was reading this morning in John 10 was about God being my shepherd, and I was like, yes, he goes before me. So, we're just feeling ready, and it doesn't mean that there won't be tears or I don't know what the word is like nervousness once we get down there but our nucleus is confident <laughs> and beneath a man we find his nucleus I have no idea where that like 30 minutes of like energy came from but it is it has ceased to exist so I was thinking about something how we approach little surgeries like sinus surgery mm -hmm. like how we go through different chapters in our life prepares us for the bigger things other like unforeseen things or yeah. other big chapters we know are ahead or whatever and also you know as we go into this it's Sinus surgery isn't a huge deal. It's very routine for some people, but as any surgery, like there are definite risks. And where my lung function is, like I don't have a lot to lose. And so we are going into this very hopeful and expectant for good things and expectant for positive improvement with my headaches and that sort of thing. But also just kind of this realistic framework of like this is not a guarantee we're gonna do it like let's do it we're gonna do it we're going to go into it gung-ho and we're gonna deal with whatever the yeah. outcome is we're just gonna take the next steps and this yeah. is the next step and then if it's a rough recovery that's the next step but yeah regardless of the outcome we're just gonna do the next thing yeah and i just i guess it makes me think of like future bigger surgeries in life or big things in life and we're gonna face them the same way yeah we're gonna remind ourselves of truth we're gonna do it together we're gonna go into it realistically but gung-ho mm -hmm. and i don't know i think the way that we handle little things can shape and help Totally. ready us for whatever comes next unforeseen or whatever it is totally. I guess it's also we're going into this with future no regrets like mm -hmm. so if say say my lung function does end up dropping because of the surgery and say it doesn't fix my headaches we aren't gonna be like wow that was such a big mistake to do that yeah. it's gonna be like well you know what we made the we made the most informed decision we could yep. And and took the best step possible and right. yeah so that's what we're gonna do I think that's wise words from Mary I love you I love you too thanks for doing this with me oh yeah let's those do this. who do sinus surgery together stick together wait I'm not getting sinus surgery <laughs> wedding ring check all right here we go 
Gonna roll down the surgery. Alright, we just got here to the pre-op room. Now we text your people, just waiting. And now we're getting like ready to meet with the anesthesiologist and stuff. And I'm asking Peter what he's gonna be doing. So now I find out things I never knew. Yeah. You have to check in. Well, I go and I check in at the, they've got like a liaison like for surgery and so I check in and give them my phone number that way if they have any updates or anything while well, I'm not around and call me and then I usually like go right away to walk Ollie and get some lunch mm -hmm. and then I come back and wait I love you love me too mm. are you okay? yeah well, that was a chair <laughs> I'll lean to you this time I love you love you too I love you I love you, I love you. stop it I don't want to stop. Minimalist, and I okay. say, let's not take anything into the OR that you don't want, that you definitely want to have afterwards. Oh, really? You know, sometimes oh, things get lost even though we're... I can take it back up to your room. Yeah, okay. unless you really want to keep okay. it, in which case we'll keep it. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Okay, there she goes for surgery. Mary just went back into surgery. I checked in with the surgery liaison people, gave my phone number, and I came down the street. Ellie and I are just sitting outside of Clover, a meeting sandwich and um, we'll head back and just after I finish this we'll head back there I think the surgeon said she's gonna shoot for like an hour and a half uh, her last sinus surgery took three hours and she was like I'm definitely gonna try to limit what we do to what's necessary and so that's the plan so we'll keep you updated as we wait like a waiting room area on the surgery floor and uh, we just heard from uh, Mary surgeon surgeon and they're wrapping up things in the OR everything went good she said they were able to clear out a lot of um, what they saw in the CT scan of just the infection in her sinuses so hopefully this will help she said they did decide to give her platelets during the surgery um, but that the bleeding wasn't um, excessive. The last time she had surgery, uh, sinus surgery, they had to keep her uh, in uh, the OR for quite a while because of the bleeding. So things look like they went better um, this time and uh, Ali and I should be able to go back there pretty soon. I got you. I got you. Good Can I job. Make that tighter, huh? Mary. Yeah. A little bit tighter. Peter, my name is Mel. Hey, Mel. Thank I'm, you I'm for your help. I'm just getting reports. She's okay. only just come out like five minutes ago. Okay. So I haven't even gotten the quote. She was asking for you. Okay. I think you're better, Mel. Okay. Hi. Hi. Good job. It's uh, like 1:15. Yeah. Uh, 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 good job. Good job. Yep. You're just numb. You're just numb. They numbed it for you. Yeah, I think they numbed it for you. Yeah, they did. Your IV. It's just taped on. How do you feel, honey? It's like, I can't even 
It hurts. It's okay. Well, just rest. You're doing good. Well, I don't know, but hopefully it'll help. That's your jaw feeling? Yeah, they did a nerve block up here. Uh, can I go back to sleep? Sure. He's a hoop. Okay. She's feeling nauseous. Still have that pocket over there? Yeah. Okay. All right, we had a little throw up incident, but all of a sudden I just felt so nauseous and then I threw up blood everywhere. But yeah. it makes sense, like all the when I was waking up, I could feel like yeah. blood going down. down my so you got Head it back up. So good. Good boy. Uh, Made it. Okay, honey. Back up in the room, getting chest PT. The nurse in the recovery area. The soft nurse was amazing. Yeah, she was real sweet. She was so helpful and sweet. And like, when I started vomiting up blood, like, Peter was helping me on the side and she was like holding my hand and yeah. um, she was so, so sweet. And when we got up here, I was like, I was like, yeah. I really wanted her to know yeah. that she was so great. And I was like, you make a difference. Like she said, I made her cry, but I was crying. Like, mm. It just makes a change. and like blood from vomiting and she was just like help me she's like no problem look at this and yeah. she and Peter like switched out like she under me nice people are nice yep. so Mel thank you yeah and all you healthcare workers who are nice mm -hmm. thank you those of you who are mean should be nice sometime <laughs> I feel like if I move, I'm gonna puke. Yeah, well. I'm just nauseous. Anyways, I, I think you need to rest. Yeah. We'll vlog later. Yeah. We'll see you guys in a little while. Thumbs up for Mary. All right, so these are the hiccups that happen. I'm not gonna show all the blood, but Mary just down in post-op, she threw up blood and then just now she started coughing and threw up a bunch of blood. So we know that it's There's dripping. A lot of people that came in. Yeah, I like open the door. So it's like, somebody grab a bucket, and then a lot of people came in here. And um, so I'm not gonna show Mary at the moment, but I will say that we gotta keep an eye on things and figure out how to keep the bleeding at a minimum. It's a few hours later, and uh, we've been trying to keep Mary resting. She's trying to find a comfortable position. She got a really bad headache. We did some Tylenol. It helps. Yeah. Ice packs helps. Yeah, the ice pack up top. And we're just trying to keep her body still right now. Obviously, it's kind of a catch-22 because her lungs probably need to cough at this point after the surgery. But the last time she started coughing, she started vomiting. And we got to keep this bleeding under control. So for now, we rest. Guess what? She is a human. It's almost 9 p.m. and I haven't been able to like open my eyes all day. Look, you're glowing. Oh, um, it's so been. I'm still actively bleeding. Yeah. But it's under control-ish. So no, it is. It yeah. is. Whenever I cough, it's just dripping out by my face. But we got to take the 18 gauge. IV out my arm, which is super helpful. And I just ate a little bit. She's a trooper. She is a rock star and you did good today. And I don't know if, I think we updated you along the journey, but 
the surgery itself went well. The surgeon said she was able to clear out a lot of the gunk in her sinuses. Yeah. So we're hopeful that in the long run, this we will that. help her body. So, all right yeah. guys, that That's was okay. surgery day. We will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. night. And you, my buddy, have been a rock star and an amazing little guy today. So, good night, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow.